Hey guys, hi Avril, and I see Christina, hello. Gosh, I'm excited you guys. I have something really fun planned. I don't know if you guys... Cork, Ireland. Oh wow, from Ireland. Thank you for visiting us from across the seas. I have this show. Have you guys seen these? I am so in love with these little roundimals. They are the cutest little guys. And so I've got four of them here. And I have just been itching to play with these. So I may be using all of them today on our project. And I may actually have a couple of projects going on. But we are going to go ahead and get started. Hi, Donna. Hi, Jen. I don't know. Have I missed anybody? If I have, I do apologize. I'm so excited that you're here. And I'm so excited to play. So I want to go ahead and switch the camera because I kind of have to discipline myself to work kind of fast today to get our project done. So. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to create a background for a slimline card. I don't know if you've seen these or not, but um, Brutus Monroe carries these slimline pre-cut card panels, which is very nice to have, um, make your life a little simpler. And these are that perfect blend paper. They are awesome for when you're using Copics or pencils. And then these are the pre-cut bases. So you can get them in this size or you can get them in this, um, this other size, but they are so nice to have. So I've just pulled out one of the panels and I am going to use this stencil, which is called Pathway, I believe, right, Darren? What's that, Chad? Stencil's called Pathway? Yes. Darren helps keep me straight. And I do want to thank Darren again for always just very sweetly moder uh, moderating for us. So I'm going to, I'm going to try to line up my stencil so that there's kind of an equal amount <clears throat> left over on either side since it's not going to meet both ends and I may trim it down we're going to kind of play it by ear and this stencil I do have a little bit of oh, I have a tear on it hi seal I'm actually going to add a little bit of pixie spray to this and I'm going to use my glasses too Jen says yay oxides yes you saw the oxides yes we will be using some of those today hey, dizzy Okay, so Pixie Spray, if, if you have watched any of these, when I use a stencil, I almost always use Pixie Spray because this stuff is gold. Um, it's amazing when you're stenciling. It keeps your stencil close to your paper project. So, we're going to go ahead and start with that. And I'm going to see if I can just kind of line up my stencil I think okay so I think we've got that pretty well covered and if we need to we can always trim around it a little bit and then I'm actually going to add just a little bit of the purple tape or you can use washi whatever works for you but um I'm just going to grab a little bit of this because it's nice and thick to kind of protect that edge in case I don't want to trim it. But I, I still struggle with this. I know people have figured out how to use it. I know you have to push really hard to get it. It's pressure activated. But because I'm hurrying a little bit, I'm not going to uh, mess around with it. I'm going to use a little bit of this because I know that will stick right away for me. Okay. I think we've got that covered now. All right. So I just recently for Christmas got some oxides. I was excited to give them a try. Brutus Monroe just started carrying a bunch of them. Um, I don't know that all of the ones that I have are in stock right now. I know that they were bought up pretty dang quick, but um, I am going to use Darren's going to post the ones that he finds that are available. So I'm going to start with, this is called mustard seed. And am I forgetting, is anybody asking questions or anything that I'm missing? Darren? 
that, Am I missing any questions or anything? I'm kind of doing all the talking. Anything, I'll tell you. Okay. So, I'm just going to go ahead and start with some yellow, this mustard seed, which is a really pretty yellow. You can tell I cleaned my stencil with a wipe because it's got little fibers on it. One thing I noticed right away is that you don't need a lot of it. Most people have tried oxides. I'm sure I'm one of the last people who hadn't had them. <laughs> but they're fun. I like them. Okay. So, we're just going to use a little of that, and I'm going to try to... I missed this, but Gina says Lily is here too. Lily! Hello, my friend! If Benji was here, I'd have him say hello, but he is out right now. Um, yeah, it's his birthday tomorrow. So now I'm going to take, this is called Carved Pumpkin. And I'm just going to blend that into my yellow. And I think I'm still probably putting more ink on my sponge than I need because I'm still kind of getting used to how this ink moves. Like I said, I've got little fibers from... Lily says to tell him happy birthday from her. Oh, thanks, Lily. I definitely will. He will love that. This is, what, this is one of the ones you couldn't find. Okay. Orange. Yeah. The next color I'm going to use is Candied Apple. And I kind of did them in a certain order. I did the yellow first just because I thought it would be easier to blend out. made it easier for me to know kind of how much room I needed to take up. And it just it blends really great on this paper, I have to say. What is that paper again? This is uh, one of the panels, but it's done with, it's made with the alcohol blend, the perfect blend paper. I do believe. All right. Now we're going to move on to our Lucky Clover. And tell me what you guys are doing for New Year's. Anybody doing anything out of the ordinary or something kind of fun? I know this year is so weird with all the different things that we're having to be inventive with. I'm curious to know what you guys are doing. <laughs> all right. Now we're going to finish off with... Peacock Feathers. And I think this is one of my favorite colors so far. I do like that yellow a lot though too. That's really pretty. Anybody divulging their plans? Not so far. Donna says she's sitting with her dog who's afraid of fireworks. Donna, that sounds like fun. Our dog's scared of them too. He hates them. I, I didn't mean the being scared of the fireworks part. I meant the just hanging out with your dog. I love my dogs. My little dog, Buddy, likes to be right where I am. Both of the dogs kind of follow me around, but Buddy 
But he sits on me anywhere I sit, pretty much, when possible. He's your shadow. He is my little shadow. He sits there and stares at her for hours. <laughs> That's just because he wants a treat. And he knows I'm a sucker. Okay, so now we can go ahead and peel this off. This is the best part. Avril says she's be playing cards as opposed to playing making cards for change. Oh, playing cards is fun too. We love card games. We might do that. Yeah, we might be able to. We might try to convince our 22-year-old that he wants to do that. Okay, so now I think this is so much fun just how it turned out. But I kind of want to mess it up a little bit. I want to add just a little bit more texture for fun. So I'm going to grab my splash pan. Jen said that Vicky is having an online crafty party. Oh, that is fun. What a smart idea, Vicky. That is a fun idea. Well, like I said, it's Benji's birthday. So we, we usually have birthday plans on New Year's Eve. We're not big party animals anyway, even when there is no pandemic, but so I'm just taking, this is the um, surface spray. This one is called a uh, jack-o-lantern and I am just, rather than spray it, I'm just going to flick it. Just unscrew the lid and just tap in it. And then I'm going to take now, I don't think this is available by itself, but if you receive the ATC kits, uh, the fluid acrylic came in one of the kits. I think you can buy the red. Isn't it red that you said, Darren? Yes. There's a red available, but I didn't see that there were any other colors. I don't know if that is something that will change in the future, but you could use, um, you could probably use it's black... Ruby. Aqua pigment, uh, the color is ruby that is available. But um, I wasn't sure how it was going to react yet because I hadn't tried, like I said, the distressings before now. So I was kind of being conservative. I wanted to make sure it wasn't going to spread out too far. But I do have some water in this little water brush, but it's pretty minimal. And I've kind of really caked on the the acrylic. So there's a lot more acrylic on that brush than there is water. We just about have it. But I kind of like that every now and then you get a drop that's more water. So it gives you a little more variation in your drops. Okay. So I'm just going to set that aside and let that dry. Take it out of my beautiful splash pan. I'm sure you've got a lovely view of that. Such a job. Okay, so now we'll get to kind of the main stars of the show today. So I love to color, but sometimes I am kind of slow when it comes to coloring. So I was trying to think of ways to color quicker and get more coverage and kind of add a little more dimension and just I was just trying to think of different things um, different ways that you people who don't like to color could color without having to be so committed to it so that's basically what this is about we're gonna paper piece with just a little bit of color as well I better wash, wash my hands off I just know if I don't I'm gonna smear ink on them okay so first we'll do this little cute little penguin and I stamped him in white on black paper and then I one of the fun things about these roundimals is that they come with matching dies so you can see one of my favorite things about it is look at how closely it cuts to the line most of the time I would be like, eh, I better just put it all on white. But these cut close enough that I didn't, I thought that these worked just fine with paper piecing. I left it on the black. I thought it looked just fine. And I love how closely that those match up. And I had no problem lining them up. 
So that was really kind of a cool thing. So I'm just gonna grab a color, a couple of colored pencils. We'll just use, let's just use some blue. We're just gonna color his little eyes. And we're just gonna be quick about it. And then I'm just gonna take a little darker blue. And I'm just kind of doing a, um, kind of a spiky line closer to the pupil. And you can get as detailed as you like or as quick as you like. But my goal today is to be quick because I want to, I want to cover a lot. So now we'll just cut out the eyes. Actually, on this one, I almost did it wrong. Okay, so on this one, typically I would do the eyes separate, but because we're going to use this little white part, we're just going to kind of give it a little bit of a highlight so that it has a little bit of definition, a little bit of depth to it. Gina says she loves how that looks. Isn't that fun? And it's just simple. You saw how quickly I did it. And I'm just coloring really softly. I'm just going in a circular motion. And I'm coloring softly because I don't want to have to do a lot of blending. We're all about quick today. And we don't need a lot of color here because we're mostly just kind of giving our, giving it a little bit of highlight. Okay, so now we can cut that out. And I don't mind just chopping right at it because I'm not going to use those other pieces anyway. So I'm just going to go right in there and go after it. And I will sometimes cut into the black as long as I don't go over the line on either side. You just want to make sure you don't have any white on the side that's going to go on the base of the penguin. And the other thing that I like about this stamp set is they are such basic, easy shapes that when you do fussy cut, you're not cutting for your whole afternoon. Gina says Lily and her are heading out to see your mom, so catch the rest later. All right, Lily. All right, Gina. Have fun at your mom's. Thanks for watching. Okay, so. See the finished product. Awesome. So you can see I had a little bit of white and it showed up a lot when I put it down. So I'm going to cut a little closer and I think we're good now. And my line behind it is white anyway. So we're just going to adhere that really quick. And honestly, I probably should just use glue. It's probably faster. I may do that on the next thing. Especially for little details, glue is nice. All right, so we're gonna just add that to our little penguin. Let me bring it a little closer. Hopefully I'm in camera view. Okay, so there's our first layer. And then we're just gonna take the yellow and we're gonna cut the little feet out and the little bill. You got on the camera. I'm not on the camera? You are. Did you go oh, on the camera? good, thank you. So let's start with this little thing. Okay, so now I'm just going to take my glue and I'm going to glue as I go because on these little tiny pieces, I don't know about you, but I can't keep track of them for very long. Not when they're this tiny. There we go. All right, see how easily that was put on there? And then we're just gonna cut out his little feet.
anyone talking? No, I think they're watching. I thought you cut these and you showed me the sample. I like them. Oh, you didn't realize that they were paper pieced? No. Nope. I am a big fan of paper piecing. Like I said, I think it's kind of fun to bring both the dimension and saving your hands from coloring forever. I do love to color Kathy though. Says hi, hi, Kathy. Donna said, totally absorbed. <laughs> Donna, you're so sweet. Okay, one more little foot, and this guy's done. We'll set him aside. So it seems like people, I don't know, I, I think most people who like to fussy cut don't always like to color and vice versa, but I could be wrong. I don't mind it's fussy it. cutting. Paper piecing gives a look like no other. Love it. I love it too. June says hello from Minnesota. Hi June. Thanks for watching. Hope you're having a great holiday. We're just talking about New Year's plans. I haven't heard anybody really. So far it's keeping the dog calm and playing cards. Yeah, so far everybody's pretty tame. Okay, so I'm going to set that guy aside. And we'll do... Let me show you the koala. I'll just, I'm going to just kind of briefly go through these. So on the koala, I just kept it really simple. I just kind of did, you know, the little leaf veins. I kind of did something similar through his ears just to give kind of the appearance of some little uh, fuzz and I went along the top of his nose and I went kind of wanted to get his little underbelly a little bit and have fun with it I mean just kind of play with it and then on this guy, I'm going to take a little bit of gray. I'm using a gray pencil on a gray animal. <laughs> yes. And, uh, excuse our doorbell. And just kind of give a little, little bit of depth here, a little bit of shadow. It's very, very slight. And like I said, yeah. I'm going quick. Kathy says she's meeting with your brothers and sisters with your siblings for lunch tomorrow. Oh, tell them all I love them, Kathy. Katie at the zoo before lunch. I wish I was there to join you. Sandra says hello from Belgium. Hi, Sandra. Thanks for joining us today. How are things over in Belgium? Okay, so I just uh, quickly went over this, and then I'm just going to do the cheater way. I just was quick about it, and I'm just going to quickly do this too and kind of blend it out. We don't want to really see any kind of a line. It's just a really subtle kind of highlight. I didn't even use a very dark gray. I just wanted to add a little bit of a little something something there. It's hard to see what you're doing because your hand blocks everything. But. I'm sorry, I have I have big hands too. Can you kind of see that? And that's I'm working with white on on a darker color, so it's kind of hard to see. But hopefully you can see that. Okay, and like I said, this is meant to be quick, so I'm I'm gonna have to control myself and just kind of stop there on that. So then let's go ahead and grab. I'm going to grab some greens for his eyes. Sandra says, love that we have Facebook lives in this weird time. Sandra, I love that too. I agree. I It's nice to feel connected and have a way to not feel so ah so isolated I, that's not even gonna matter that I did that because we don't need that part 
I panicked for a second, but I was like, nope, we're only using the eyes on this guy. So again, just kind of doing a zigzaggy, spiky line around his eye, his uh, pupil. And I really, really disciplined myself well just now and colored really fast. Ignoring any flaws. So on this one, we're just going to go ahead and... I'm not even going to cut out the eyelashes because the eyelashes will be on our base. So we don't need them because we'll still have them. Okay, one eye down, and actually, I also adhere these as I go because I don't want to be confused as to which eye goes where. So I just try to make life easier for myself. And you can see where the lines are, so you can see exactly where to line it up. Kathy said the kids love the book. Oh, Kathy, I'm so glad. I hope everyone had a Merry Christmas. I'm the youngest of five kids, and so um, I got to be the fun aunt for a long time, and I really loved that. I have lots of nieces and nephews. I love them dearly, and now I have grand nieces and nephews. And so we, uh, we sent some Christmas books. Okay, so simple as can be, there is our second one done. So I am thinking, let's see how, how much time have we got. Oh, I think we have enough time, we can keep going. So we're gonna just quickly do the pig, quickly do the owl. Um, you can see we've got our bases here. Let's just do their eyes at the same time. We'll do the owl in kind of a hazily color. All right, that's gotta be a record for me. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use some darker brown in our little spiky line. Like I said, you can go as crazy as you want. You could spend all day on these eyes. I love the owl especially because his eyes are so big it lends itself to all kinds of fun. You could play all day on that. And I don't need anything else from the owl, the white piece, so I'll take that off. Sandra said these animals are so cute. Aren't they fun? I love these little roundimals. I'm anxious to see if we get more of these. I wouldn't mind a whole zoo of these little guys. The eyes are what grab you. They're just so cute and sweet. They remind me of some books that I used to read when I was a little girl. Did any of you guys ever read serendipity books? I used to love those. Alright, so we'll attach the one eye because, like I said, I have a hard time figuring it out. Don't want to have to worry about it. Just make life easier for myself. Super simple. And I can see I didn't uh, stamp as dark as I should have. I usually would go over that a few times. Somehow it escaped my attention. So I'm just going to use a little bit of black colored pencil to color in the little white spots. And I'm just doing it lightly so it's not noticeable. That works. 
Okay, now we'll get our other eye on there. And I wanted to show you something else. Um, well, I'll show you in a minute. I just don't want to hurry so fast that I forget to tell you what else is available right now. I have seen a few things that are coming this year, and woo, there are some fun things coming for this next year coming up. Stay tuned. Okay, so now we've got our little owl. Well, we're not all done, though. I've got two more layers on that one. This one has more layers. I think this has the most layers, but nothing too serious. So we've got the darker brown that we're going to use for his little ears. I don't know what you call them on an owl. They are up where ears are. Are they ears? I don't know. Do owls even have ears? I wouldn't think so. I think it's just their feathers come up that way. Well, they have they have some sort of hour, some sort of ears. I sound like Christopher. Yeah, Corinne Donna. In what way? <laughs> just wooting the stuff is coming up. Oh yeah, that he is fun because he will divulge secrets. He can. He's the boss. It's it's fun. You get to get a little sneak peek here and there. I'm all about that. Okay. And we will grab this other little guy, whatever they are. Okay. My mind is still going, oh, I've never thought about ears on an owl. I mean, they obviously have ears so they can hear, but you don't really think of them because they don't all stick out. Okay, so now, ooh, I got kind of close on that one. We're going to cut out the little wings. And I won't assemble the whole card. I have the card pre-assembled, but I wanted to show you how to easily, I was able to cut and color these. In fact, I'm kind of thinking, you kind of have seen. So these will be the wings. Here's the pig. These are the insides of the ears and the nose. And I just used pink around it. But I feel like you kind of get the idea on this. I think I'm going to move on to a different part of this so that you can you can kind of see where I was going with it. And I'll show you the card. So we I used this at the base. And on the one I did, I actually was a little crooked. I didn't have my stencil on straight. So I trimmed it down. And I will show you how it turned out. So I went ahead and I layered them on top of each other. Add a little party hat. And then these little dies right here are a new uh, one of the newer sets from Brutus Monroe. And you've got all of these different slimline dies. So you can layer your slimlines. And you've got all of these fun words. And I love how they turn out with that. I thought it was fun to use the, the party hat for the A on that. Um, and then I actually have just enough time I thought it would be fun to just show you another thing you can do. I thought I would just throw together. Pamela and Dawn say that's adorable. They love it. Oh, thank you. It was so fun to make. And these little animals are so cute. You could do whatever you want. You could make the cutest card with one of them. But I just was having so much fun with them. I just wanted to use them all on one card. Jen says she loves it. Sandra says, ooh, love that card. Oh, thank you so much. Mary says it's fabulous. These little guys are just easy to make a card with. They're just so fun. Okay, so I'm just going to pop this on here. And I just think these are fun. These are great for kids, especially. Like I 
told you it's Benji's birthday tomorrow. And I think these are just fine for making a card for him. I'm actually thinking this card would be great for him. But I actually wanted to show you one other project. I like how you have the owl sitting on the birthday and the hat's part of the A for the happy. Ah, thank you. That's creative, Shannon. Thank you. Okay, so I just I just stuck this into I just didn't really say what what I was doing. Sorry, I put a little um, square foam piece in between each of these, and then I just kind of slid my toothpick in there. Hopefully that's long enough. If not, I've got a skewer. But I wanted to show you. I bought a cupcake just for this. I'm just grabbing it. Hang on. It is huge. And when Benji gets home, I think I'm going to give it to Benji so that he can, and I might just give it to him tomorrow. It's mostly icing. This cupcake is ginormous, but it's really cute. Hopefully you can see it. Isn't that fun? So I thought, though, these make really cute toppers. They'd be cute on, um, I'll just do that so you can see it. They, oh, it's sticking on there. They'd be really cute on if you wanted to make a, a belly band for something. They're really cute for tags, but they're just so fun. And they're so just, I love their just big, bold personalities that you don't need to do a whole lot to make them stand out. They are just fun little stamps. So those are the roundimals. Um, and I've shown you the Distress Ink. Is there anything else I was going to show you? Let me see. Showed you the stencil. Jen says that looks so cute and delicious. Aw, oh, thank you, Jen. I, I, I'm pretty sure he'll like it. I have no... When I told Benji, I was trying to get Benji to tell me what he wanted for his birthday dinner. I might have told you this story. If I did, I apologize. But I, I was trying to get him to tell me, like, what he wanted for the main course for his birthday dinner. And he kept telling me what kind of cake he wanted. And not only does he, you know, is he letting me know he wants cake, but he let me know he wants... A 50% cocoa cake with, he, he goes, yeah, I want 50% cocoa. And have you heard about edible chocolate, edible gold? And I'm like, yeah, I've heard about edible gold. <laughs> and you can just keep dreaming. <laughs> He's so funny. I'm going to have to uh, find something that looks like gold to put on his cake because that just cracked me up. Anyway, well, I'm going to flip my camera so I can say goodbye in a proper way. Thank you so much for joining me today. I had so much fun and that card was so much fun to make. I I can't imagine how many other projects I'm going to come up with with these little guys because they are so much fun. And I really appreciate you guys and I will see you guys. Well, first of all, I almost forgot. Happy New Year. Hallelujah. It's Almost this year is, is rounding off and we can start a new one and start fresh. I always love that feeling of starting fresh and all the possibilities. So enjoy your new year and I will see you again next week. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.